Another study of interest is a prospective study of capecitabine and temozolomide, a um, combination the authors refer to as CAPTEM, uh, as a treatment for neuroendocrine tumors. So neuroendocrine tumors are typically resistant to chemotherapy, particularly carcinoid tumors, because they are very slow growing. And the authors um, found in their preclinical data that uh, temozolomide, an alkylating agent, um, combined with um, capecitabine, fluoropyrimidine, uh, was an active regimen in uh, neuroendocrine cell lines. And they specifically found that if they gave the capecitabine first and then the temozolomide for the last five days, uh, that they had synergy, presumably from depleting thymidine, um, which would inhibit um, repair of the damage caused by the temozolomide. So what this study showed is in patients, uh, 28 patients, if I recall correctly, with neuroendocrine tumors were treated with this combination. It was not a randomized study, but it's of interest because of the response that they uh, demonstrated. So of the 12 patients with carcinoid uh, tumors, five responded to therapy. Five had uh, a partial or a complete response. So that is somewhat eye-popping. And also they had uh, responses in pituitary tumors. Um, about a third of the patients with pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors responded. And the responses were of significant duration. The, pro the progression-free survivals were uh, close to two years. So um, certainly looks like a promising regimen. It is in need of further study. There is a current cooperative group study looking at um, temozolomide versus CAPTEM for patients with pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors.